back, everyone, to Enderall. We've talked to Alfred. We've gone and gone swimming in the bay to collect Yero's journal. So now we're going to head back to Jespar in Yero's house. And on the way back, maybe we can find that shrine that we're looking for. Before I begin, I should say that I'm not feeling well. You may be able to tell that I have a bit of a frog in my throat, and that, well, I, I'll, I'll probably do a, do a bit of coughing as, as, I, as I talk. I hope you'll, for, you'll forgive me if I don't uh, talk as often <laughs> as I could. Now look at that, a lonesome traveler. Something you never learn. Oh, there's a third of you, aren't there? How many of you are there? Fucking piece of shit! You will pay for that! No, I believe you if the if the archer hadn't done more damage. You know that doesn't actually doesn't actually make you make me lose track of you. Who would think that crouching down would make you sneak better? Yes, I am. So first off, what's this? Ancient Circle of the Lost Ones. Lost Ones, so those are the skeleton things, aren't they? Yes, yes they are.
Shimmering Grove. Have I been in there? No, but let's get in anyway. Because, you know, there's nothing wrong with exploring and indulging curiosity. Even if I'm sick and, you know, I'm probably going to make it worse by being in here. So that looks magic y as a general rule. Oh, trolls. Easier than I expected. It's an enchanted gear defense robe. What are these run, I wonder? Some kind of mine shaft machinery? Keep going left. I'm going to be attacked viciously soon. quarters, maybe? <clears throat> huh, so apparently that's not a unique item. <sighs> this stuff again. Left you poor boys from the mind a little strengthening in case that the nights again are harsh and long. Fortunate good. Oh. That's good to know. Good to have. Though I know that it should be fortunate well, but you know, we're not going to criticize the Ender Outland for their, for their poor grammar. Now let's uh, quickly go to the other half of the mine. Oh wait, that's the that's the way out, yeah. <sighs> you 
you know, might I say how grateful I am not to be famous? It means I don't have to worry about people saying, why didn't you, why didn't you leave the mud moral behind? Or, you know, oh my gosh, you missed that stuff. Uh, you're a terrible YouTuber, which I'll, I'll admit is true, but, you know, details, details. I can't defeat him, he has the higher ground. Say that's uh, not an in, not an invitation to start you, my my followers. All right, let's get out. Let's uh, let's go. Let's go the long way around because I'm I'm going. I'm, it's going to kill me not to know where it comes out because I'm silly and stupid like that. And uh, yeah. What light is that? Is that a, a skylight? This is some kind of tube from the surface. So where does this come out? Let's quickly double back and head to Yarrow. Or head to Jespar. And can I know, what do you need to know? If you're a highwayman, you don't really get to complain when someone comes, up, comes along and kills you instead of you killing them. South. South, south is the way I want to go. Piece of meat. Ah! Really hope that wasn't anybody's goat I just killed. That it's wild goats. Yeah, it'll work.
that's the way I want to get. Great, more walls. Just what I wanted to see. Zero's house again. remember that being there. Why did Yarrow have a dungeon underneath his house? Ghetto booby trap the house, the booby trap the wait, the dungeon under Sorry. his house. I know, I can't sing. It isn't my new friend. Any luck? Uh, yeah. Well, I had a chat with Alfred. He talked about how Yeto appear, appeared to be always, almost on the brink and stuff because he was from the what do you what do you say manufacturers class and then went went all the way up to Sublime. Well, well, that's interesting. Good work. That only leaves the mysterious object in the water. I'll have a closer look around here in the meantime. Well, actually, I found that. Interesting. I didn't know about his companion's fate, to be honest. Hmm. Irony of fate, isn't it? Murdered by those you wanted to help. But the Order will definitely be interested in these letters. <coughs> well done. That should be all we need, then. Splendid. Now, you mentioned something about finding me a cure, right? Did you find anything? I did, and now I finally know what to make of it. Come, follow me. I really hope you're leading me to a cure. A mine? What's going on? I present a star people's lock. And I bet my buttocks will find another answer behind that door over there. Star people? What, what, what's a star people's lock? Doesn't surprise me. This kind of lock is usually only found in <coughs> treasuries or castles. But they can be picked. But that's going to be quite the challenge without the bolts. 
water bolts? Bolts are usually thing that lock the door. Why do, you, why do you need bolts to open them? Normally, yeah. It's quite simple, actually. Every keyhole has a matching bolt that latches into place once you insert it. And once all the keyholes, five in our case, are latched, the door the lock protects opens up. If you don't have the matching bolts, however, you should prepare yourself for the most frustrating break-in of your life. That is, if you don't happen to be Jaspar. Who knows a little trick? Do tell. You can use wooden sticks instead of bolts. They'll break a couple of seconds after you put them inside the lock, but if you manage to get all five <coughs> sticks into place before the first one breaks, you can basically trick the mechanism. It's all about speed, in other words. So I'd say you do the running, and I'll wait near the pressure plate. You ready? Um, what? What exactly do you need me to do? You're right, sorry. All you have to do is insert one stick into each of the five keyholes as fast as possible. Once you've done that, I'll push the pressure plate, which will open the door. If you're too slow, we'll just have to try again. All right, let's try Splendid. this. Splendid. Here are the sticks. All right, go! Where are these holes? One, two, three. Where's four and five? Ah, one up there. Okay, got it. Damn, that was too slow. We'll try it again. <sighs> Darn. Damn, that was too slow. We'll try it again. Damn, that was too slow. We'll try it again. <sighs> Tell you what. I'll mend the pressure plate, and you run around the six, all right? Damn, that was too slow. We'll try it again. <clears throat> okay, new plan. We'll start from the top Damn, end. Damn, that was too slow. We'll try it again. Damn, Damn that was too slow. We'll try it again. Are you finished? Good. Okay, start from the top and then run around. Brilliant! Haha! <laughs> We're really good at this. Now let's take a look and see what the old magister didn't want anyone to see, shall we? Sounds like a plan. Shit! You first. This is entropy. He summoned this. Ow! A fire elemental. And not a weak one. This Yarrow knew about magic, that's for sure. And entropy. That leaves us with the question of what exactly this is supposed to be. Well, it's a dead guy. But who's? Looking at the shrine around it, I'd say it's probably his dead wife. At the risk of blowing your mind, I had already figured as much. Hmm. I suppose that's his companion. Though it's interesting that he was already on the wrong side of the law way before his rampage. Hmm, yeah, he was using well, it. burials are considered heathen here in Enderal, and have been forbidden for about <coughs> 300 years now. Here, corpses are always cremated. The whole thing's called the Last Journey. 
The deceased is taken to a place he or she considered special during his or her life immediately after dying. That's the only way the soul can move on to the eternal paths. Sounds very poetic, but I'm pretty sure the only reason the Order introduced the law was to prevent plagues. Plus, they might have noticed that too many lost ones running around on trade routes aren't that much fun for wanderers and traveling merchants. Makes sense, I suppose. So this is a... Oh, crap. You said that the reason for it was that the lost ones come back, right? So that'd make this a crime, and also a lost one waiting to happen, right? Yeah, but of course that only goes for the little man. The rich and powerful still tend to their family crypts, and there are still plenty of old vaults around from the time before this whole last journey thing was begun. And it's good that way. What would life as a treasure hunter be like without the notorious noble looking for family jewels in a century-old grave? So, what now? Let's take a look around and see if we find anything. Mana salt, what's that do? Fortify enchanting. Hey, that's wonderful. <laughs> You'll forgive me, I don't trust corpses. I've been around too many that are that are walking around of late. Sierra's memorial book. Beloved Sierra, this is my final letter to you, and I'm writing it to ask you for your forgiveness. Forgiveness for murdering you. Because that's what I've done. I can very well imagine how you would react to this if you were still alive. You'd smile, shake your head, and tell you this is one of my moments when I tend to blow things everything out of proportion. But as much as I would like to believe that, you'd be mistaken. No, it wasn't me who wanted your life, but I still bear the responsibility, for it was I who let it come this far. Why? Because I was the one who deceived you. I was the one who told you these ridiculous tales of heroes and idealists. It was I who told you that only cowards give up, and it was I who infected you with all these ideas of mine which were no more than foolish illusions. I see it now, clearer than ever. But I didn't then, because I made a mistake. The mistake of thinking that this world wants to be saved. Sounds trite, doesn't it? <coughs> but the more you think about it, the more apparent it becomes. It doesn't. It never did, and it never deserved it anyway. And yes, I can imagine what you'd say to that, too. That I became what we always loathed. But Sira, just look around. Look around and confront, reality, confront the world we live in. Look at how much we have and how little we appreciate it. Look at how we could work together, but we fight wars instead. Look at, how, look at how we could choose love, but instead choose hatred. It's never been different, Sierra. And no, there's no hope, no matter how much we tell ourselves there is. And it hurts me to write this, it really does. But it's the truth, plain and simple. I'm tired of clouding my, clouding my mind with all these lies we tell ourselves again and again, just to avoid confronting the obvious. Mankind is at its end. A Kyrianian philosopher once wrote that there's a point in our life where we make a choice. The choice either to live valiantly but in austerity, or to live corruptly but in pleasure. The latter is what this philosopher calls choosing the void, because that is what's beyond the surface of the supposed attractiveness of it. And do you see where, where I'm going, Sira? All of them, all of these numb-headed fools around us chose the void. We were among the few who didn't among the few who dreamed of something more and who were willing to sacrifice for it. And we might, have been, we might have succeeded if we hadn't been alone. But we were, Sira. We were alone. And now they all talk of a red madness that infects our minds. Madness? It's so simple, don't you see it? They realize what they have chosen. They realize that their lives are devoid of sense, of purpose, and they can no longer look away from the truth. That they and their cowardice, that they and their ignorance shaped a world with nothing in it worth living for. And no, I do not say this lightly. You should know this better than anyone else. I wanted to believe it. I wanted to believe that there's a way that we had only had that we only had to try hard enough. But what I see here, your withered body shows me that all your plans were doomed from the start. We should have fled to some remote island to become altogether. 
but we didn't. And now I'm here with your blood on my hands. All because I infected you with my folly. I'll go, Sarah. I don't know whether something awaits me after dark, after death, or whether it's just darkness. And to be honest, I don't care. But before I go, I'll give this world what it deserves. Do you remember what I wrote? They had the choice between virtue and the void, and they chose the latter. They shall have it. What's that? Let me see. You sure? Uh -huh. A tragic ending for a tragic personality, I'd say. Well, I think that should suffice. So, that's it? You don't think there's anything to what he said? But what do you think? Well, what should I think about it? Yarrow was a self-righteous fool, just like all these do-gooders are. They celebrate themselves as great messiahs as long as everything goes well, but once they fail, it's the bad, bad world that's responsible for it. The wise hermit has a good saying for that. People are only idealists until it starts to hurt. He and his lady should have simply stayed in Riverville. So you don't believe in idealists? I mean, if it weren't for them, we'd still, we'd still be here. We, we, we wouldn't, brother, we wouldn't be here. We'd just be doing stupid stuff, wor worshiping, worshiping idols, I guess. But the world needs idealists. The world needs heroes. <laughs> I think that if we all just spent less time thinking about other people's problems, whores would have fuller purses, breweries emptier barrels, and tyrants fewer minions willing to cut their throats open for the one true god or the one true nation. So, so that's it? We finish it off and we go to Ark? Yeah, we are. Here, I've got two teleport scrolls that can take us right back to Riverville. Just meet me in the tavern once you're ready to go. I have some stuff to take care of, so there's no need to hurry. Farewell. Uh. I'll be honest, that is not what I, how I wanted this to go. to do. I guess what we're going to do is teleport to Riverville because there's not a whole lot left for us here. After we examine what this farm is, because, you know, why not? You know, I'm sorry, I shouldn't be Letting, letting this get me down, but it's a kind of a heavy topic. I've embraced the title of heretic, said that, you know, that the reason that I, I'm half Korean, so it doesn't really matter what, what, the, what people think. And yet here I am, you know, a wishing well. Sorry. Yet here I am making sure that local traditions are carried out. This is a strange noise that... Find all wishing well and their lost hearts to them. Well... I'm not going to look this look away from this, am I? A golden chalice, a grass-colored stone. Bring me back this. So I shan't be alone. 
bring my heart back to me. Okay. I don't suppose you know where I can find that, do you? No, of course you don't. like how this game handles its waypoints. You know, in, in Skyrim, if, if, if I got a quest like that, it'd be, okay, here's this magical wishing well that you can go find the heart for. And then it would point you straight to it. Dear me, I'm a hopeless romantic, aren't I? That's not supposed to happen to heretics. Oh, what's this? Money? Don't mind if I do. So, but in this game it just says, okay, find them. And admittedly, that has its own problems, which is that it turns into a, a treasure hunt, you know, a, no, not even a treasure hunt, a scavenger hunt, saying, oh, where can I find, uh, find a golden chalice? is always a good thing. <clears throat> so right now I'm mostly just looking for locations I haven't explored yet. Silver chalices. What did it say? A glowing stone? Is there any way to get back over this hill like the way the way I came in? As I recall, when, when I came in, I came over this hill and, you know, hopped across the rocks. Can I, can I do that again to get back out? Shiny stone, isn't it? Sure, why not? So what I'm thinking is, we'll head over to that, uh, 
little village over there but with the with the not goblins. Exploring as we go. Ooh, is that a large backpack or is, can, I, can, I, can I carry that? Uh, maybe I'll make a stop by that uh, Sorry, by that alchemy station, so I, so I can so I can cook something. That's the stairs up and over that I've, I've been there. Is that a cart? With apples on them. Oh, hey, a nice fly I didn't pick. you excuse me you will not have her Elfried stays with me and drop the disguise already I know a god of death when I see one if you plan on making sense now will be a time uh, what who are you Um, I'm sorry. I had a nightmare. Pretty vivid anyway, nightmare. Anyway, uh, who are you? I wasn't expecting to meet anyone else out here. Save for the bandits, that is. Rawr, I'm a bandit. Give me all your money, now, nah, kid. Um, yeah, long story. What are you doing out here? You'll forgive me saying so, but, uh, you're not wearing any armor. I, I don't want to see a dagger. You don't look like an adventurer. No, I'm not. This ruin over there... You know, I'm a merchant, and my specialties are all kinds of things with historical background. The things you usually find in ruins. That's good. good of course, stuff, huh? I'm usually not stupid enough to go looking for them myself. But there was this traveler from Ark who told me about this place, the Three River Watch. And he said that it's hardly guarded. Well, since I was in the area anyway, I thought it wouldn't hurt to take a look. Great idea, really. Yeah, I've been there. Look, I know we just met, but truth be told, I really got myself into some trouble here. And you you look as if you know how to defend yourself. Yeah. Something terrible Shield. happened, and I simply don't know what to do anymore. Oh? Yeah, something to do with Elfrida? Yes, my Elfried. She was kidnapped. By the stars, I was so stupid. <laughs> We were just about to make camp for the night, and I went to search for some firewood. And then, just like that, she's gone. Well, what'd she look like? Who took her? The bandits, maybe? No, a Vatir. I heard him grunting, you know. He lives in that damned ruin. I tried to sneak in, but it's impossible. <coughs> and I can't go back to Riverville for help either. That would take way too long. Please, you have to help me. If anything happens to Elfred, I would never forgive myself. Wait a minute, I, I, I killed the vat here. Were you? How long have you been here? Um. Well, I'd ask you for a reward, but I, kind of already killed it. So yeah, let's see what we can do. What? Oh, by the ancient fathers! Thank you and hurry. Um. We'll, we'll create well, after. Blessed and stay safe. 
we'll trade after I rescue Elf Elfried from from the watch. You know, if you'd stood up when I came by, you might have you might have noticed me. Rather, I might have noticed you. <coughs> Is that your back? Nope. Uh, no, that's a rat. I will read that later on. Ugh. Now, where did I kill that bat here? Was it up here? see the bat here, because I killed him, and I guess his body rotted away instantaneously. But I'm also not seeing any body of uh, a traveling companion. later in that thing. I don't even want to think about it. Here, take this. It's a rare herb, and I hope it's compensation enough for your efforts, at least partially. If you need anything else, just come talk to me. Now that that beast is gone, I might as well take a look at the area. I guess? Oh, hello. So... Yeah, how are you holding Good, up? thanks. I think I'll stay here for another day or two. The Traveler was right. This place really is a gold mine. I hope not. I mean, it means I'm not, I'm not picking clean enough. Uh, yeah, let, let's Good, trade. Thanks. I think I'll stay here for another day or two. The tra Good, thanks. Ah. I think I'll stay here for another... What? Oh, yes, sure. What you got? Ooh. Archery books and light armor that are all very expensive. No. Okay, let's sell pretty much everything we have because we're going. Um, actually, we're going to keep that. Because that does better damage than our steel sword.
Okay, give us some books, please. Uh, what do we want, though? You're tearing me apart, you know that? Okay, go for archery. That, that's never wrong. What can we sell you? Um, yeah. Because we will never use these spells. Except possibly on... Except possibly that. Any good arrows? No, you don't. Of course you don't. You're not. You're not an adventurer. Okay, poison potion of invisibility could be useful. All those aversion potions are pretty much useless to me. Um. These days I'm gonna to have to read all these things. New spell learned. And we're slightly less over overladen. So let's spell in some learning points. Walk blessed and stay safe. Um, tell you what. You what? give me some of those oh, one handed yes, ones, alright? Sure. Tell you what, we'll read these off camera and then sell them and get money. Because we want to get all get all the all the books. I've got 470 gold. You know, it occurs to me that if I had just become an adventurer in, an adventurer in Narum, in a matter of a few days, I'd, I'd have had enough gold to fund the journey without having to sneak here and get terribly injured and have my best friend murdered and getting an arcane fever. Boy, past me was stupid, wasn't he? 